Welcome back. I'm Calvin Statue Fanatic here with another review. And today we're going to take a look at another Legends in 3D bus by Diamond Select. Wow, I've got to figure a shorter way to say that because that's a lot to say. But you guys already know how excited I've been about Diamond Select's Legends in 3D bus. They've been pretty awesome and I've loved everyone that I've gotten. And now uh, some of you guys saw my excitement when I unboxed this guy behind me, T'Challa, this life-size bus. So what I'm really looking forward to is that I've always thought there was a little bit of shenanigans going on when it came to the size of these guys because they said that it's a half-scale bus. So now I have a full-scale bus to put this next to to let you guys decide whether or not you think it's a half-scale bus. So first, let's just take a look at the box. And just like all the other ones, it's this really simple bus with the logo Legends in 3D and a little bit about the, uh, the character on the back. And it says that this is a 95, I think, it of 1,000. All of the Legends in bus of edition size 1,000. And then here, sculpted, well, first of all, designed by Joe Alar and then sculpted by none other than Rocco Tachimaya. This guy, I, I swear, he is like killing it over at Diamond Select. I've loved pretty much everything that he's put out so far. And he's done most of the Legends in 3D busts. And then there's a number of ones that are coming out that he has also sculpted. But yes, your hats off to Rocco, man. Look like you're on a, a roll here with these, these uh, statues. So let's get this out of the box. And then here you have him out of the box. But before we get to that, it also comes in the box just like all the other Legends in 3D bus, a certificate of authenticity indicating Black Panther 1 has scale, who designed it, we mentioned Joe Allard, and then sculpted by Rocco Tatamaya. So you, that also is something cool that you could display with your statues. So let's get to this guy first of all, but before we do that, let's get to the one thing, well I'll do that at the end, we'll compare right next to this to see whether or not this lives up to being a half scale bus because I have a different take on what the scale of this is and would love someone to be able to explain in the bottom how they come up with the scale size. So anyway, we'll just do a once around so that you can get an idea of what this guy looks like. As we turn them all around, you can see very simple bust, just like all the other ones. But what I have loved about the Diamond Select bust is that the bases have all been complementary in terms of, and what I mean by that is that all of the bases somehow have a thing that represents the character. And here you've got this high tech type angular structure that ba Black Panther is uh, sitting on. And underneath there, it's kind of like this purple glow as well. But you can see this structure, it has two tones to it, a little bit darker at the bottom, a little bit lighter at the, at the top, but a lot of design and angular type stuff, kind of reminiscent of what uh, high tech would look like if you ask me. And kind of a throwback to pyramids. And it's just got a lot of things going on there in terms of looking really cool and complementing the statue really well. So let's move up to T'Challa and look at the actual statue itself. Now, as I turn this around, and you can look, you're probably looking at it under a, in the white box right now so that I can get better detail. But as I turn it around, I'm looking at tons of texturing and detail in the costume itself. I mean, there's various shapes and various lines going in different direction, really breaking the costume up to look like a full outfit. Doesn't look like some black, just matte finished uh, painting or anything. There is just a lot going on there. And then you see several places on the costume where you see this writing that's, that, I guess represents Wakanda type text. And here, when you're looking at the elements that are around his neck in terms of the necklace, you see where there's this rope that's holding the vibranium elements, these silver elements. And again, there's only two tones on here, silver and black. You can see where the rope itself is sculpted and raised from the statue itself or from the figure itself. And then it has a different paint finish, more glossy than the flatter black that the costume portrays. And then as you look at the elements of vibranium on the necklace itself, silver all painted really well. I could hardly see any flaws. There was a couple of places like one here and I can't see the other one. One of the place where you could see some of the silver that was actually painted onto the black, but very, very, very little, very minute, it's hard to tell. Uh, otherwise, that was painted very, very nicely. And then as you go up to his head sculpt, love the head sculpt on this guy. You can see where the helmet has a completely different texture and everything, so it separates it from the outfit. 
So you could actually see where the helmet would like uh, come across his face and then retract, kind of like in the movie. And then the same thing here, there's various areas on here, like in the ear area where you see a lot of texturing, the same thing on his forehead, lots of texturing there. And then as you look at the back, Again, some design and sculpting there that indicates a more of the writing that I spoke about earlier. And you also have only two colors here, silver and black, and then not painted bad at all. Looks uh, like there may be a couple of areas where they may, for lack of a better, better term, color outside of the line, but there's only one or two places where I see that. Otherwise, it looks really amazing. I have been extremely happy with all of the busts so far, and I've got several coming in. The one that I'm really excited to get in is Pennywise. Uh, I, that just looks really cool. It looked great at the con, it looks great online, and it should be coming rather soon. I got that from a Collector Zone, so you can guys go out and check out Collector Zone because they have a lot of the uh, pieces like this on their website as well that you can order. And when I said that, I thought these pieces were becoming really popular and there was a hit there's a number of them that are coming out that have already been pre-orders have been sold out so I think a lot of people besides myself are enjoying this line of statues I promised that I would do a comparison so you guys can tell me what you think about the size of this please please comment I want to know what you guys think so here you have my favorite piece in my collection right now, T'Challa Black Panther. This was awesome. If you haven't seen this review that I did of this, please head over to MCE and check out this review. Right above me, you can probably see where a little link popped up where you can see the review of this guy. Beautiful statue. But I want to hold up this Black Panther uh, bus right next to it. And I'm not buying the half scale because the way that I interpret half scale to be is that this... If I were to take two of these, it would equal this size, right? I'm, I'm assuming that's how that works, but nah, not buying it because two of these still would come close to the size of this one-to-one -one life size bus. However, I would say this is more, these uh, half scale bus have been more of third scale than half scale. I would, I would go with third scale. What do you guys think? And then there are some of the designers or people who are watching this and I got it all wrong please explain to us how you come up with a half scale size because just that appearance, just you can see that this doesn't look like it's half the size of this life size bus. That's kind of my story and I'm sticking to it right now, but hey, let me know what you guys think. Well, that pretty much concludes my review of Black Panther Legends in 3D bus by Diamond Select, sculpted by none other than Rocco Tatamaya. And remember to always collect what you like and not the hype and you will find your collecting journeys will bring you so, so, so much joy. So until next time, my friends, peace.